Ladies and gentlemen on YouTube, we are all set up to go out and do this next mission we have is to do the gold mining mission. And we're going to start tracking it. So here we go. We got to get to the first location. Oh, that's cool. So once multiplayer goes live, you can get a helper guy to make it so that you can trade items with your drone. That's really cool. So you can fly your drone to the, your, your anchor friend. That's pretty neat. Hey, what's up, Louie? Gator's been playing. That's cool. All right, so let's get on over. Uh, we're going to see this first gold mine point, and then I got to find a better route to get to the next one. So. <laughs> There you go. Almost done with the first map. So we have to find the gold mine things and it pays 3,500 bucks. So that's pretty good. So Micah says you only get paid half back for your, for the things that you take out, uh, like the jack screws and stuff like that. So I want to test that and see if that's true if I don't use it. The dairy special. <laughs> the dairy special is special. Now on to the meteorology data. Oh, yeah, that's one of the missions. That's right. That's right. It's been a long time. I've been, play I've been playing Animal Crossing. I have a little secret to admit. <laughs> Animal does Animal Crossing is my poo poo game. <laughs> That's what I play when I poop. <laughs> oh, you can technically sell them back before you end the mission. Oh, okay. You sent a cabin floating up the river. I've done that before. <laughs> do 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 do. Wow. <laughs> I've got all the fish but two. I'm missing two fish and about five insects. But I never, I, I'm so bad. I don't play year round. So it's like I, the fish I missed were in the winter and I wasn't playing then. So I missed them. I'll have to wait till next year. Yeah, that's what Micah was saying is to store them because then at least you can come back and get them later. Plus you're getting free ones out in the field when you find the parachute drops. So there's the first one. Oh, God. It's extra work. Okay. And money stops becoming an issue as you get further on. Yeah, that's what I was expecting, too. I mean, right now... If I wanted money to not be an issue, I could. What I've done is because I've got the special edition. Um, I've got all the special edition trucks that I could sell, but I'm trying to make it more challenging for myself. So I did not. I'm not using the special edition trucks right now. I will later on in the game. But right now I'm just except for the Kotko, which obviously is also a special edition truck. But I love this truck. So I and the Don is cool, but this is much more of a rock crawler type machine. So. A truck. It's not really it's a machine. Getting all technical there. Um, so I like it. Like I said, the Don's fun, and it actually is really good. It gets great mileage. That's the Don's real strength. Um, but this is more of a like what you would actually do this in. So I like taking this truck out. But anyway, the point is I haven't sold any of the special edition trucks just to make the money a little bit more like everybody else to have the challenge of it. So... Oh, God, here goes Gator in the computer parts again. <laughs> Gator, tell me about it once you've done it. <laughs> and now that you got a job at McDonald's, you'll be able to do it fairly quickly. I mean, what, probably like two or three weeks? You'll have enough money, four weeks, a month. You'll have saved up enough money to get most of those parts. And then tell me about what you got. Because <laughs> otherwise, you're going to tell me every five minutes about how you changed your mind. <laughs> Uh, silly boy. 
Oh, wow. 40 hours. Okay. I don't think I have I maybe maybe 20 hours in at the most, but I've also played the beginning a couple times, once by myself, once for like the, the pre-release week, and now I'm going through the actual game, so... Beep. This is where I flipped last time. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. The problem was I didn't get enough of an angle coming out of the water. Oh, yeah, look at that. And we didn't even have to flatten the tires. We just went right up. The trick is coming down the other side. Let me take a real quick look here and see. I think this is the way I want to go. Yeah, this is it. We'll put it in low, low and let, our, let the drag brake work our way down. The engine brake. And I definitely want to visit that parachute drop so we can get take on board some fuel. And I don't think I need any repair kit, so. I've discovered a new Ford. <laughs> it was funny. I was reading. I'm part of the the one of the snow, the expedition groups. And somebody was like, what's a like this? Somebody was saying how hard the uh I guess there's a mission on Carpathia called like crossing the Ford and um, they finished and they're saying how hard of a mission it was. And somebody was like, what, what is a Ford? Like, do they mean like a Ford truck? <laughs> it was funny. I'm like, that's interesting. People don't know that. And there were like several people that are like, what does that mean? And I'm like, you know, I grew up in an area where we have basically there's Fords around here. We have like, we have a river, uh, the Rocky River that uh, I grew up. I actually grew up in the town of Rocky River, but there's the Rocky River flows through a lot of this area and the Cuyahoga River also does. And there's a metro park that follows it and some roads. And some of those roads are actually they go down into the water. So when it floods, you can't go over the, those roads. And there are signs about, you know, danger, you know, be, be sure that there's not water across the Ford when you or how, check how deep the water is if if there is water in the ford like to be careful on crossing and anyway it's um i thought it was funny people didn't never heard that before they never heard the word ford or fording you know like but now they'll know because they've played this game the lodestar lodestar guys Yeah, the Acteon is is amazing truck. That it's probably the best truck so far in the game. I haven't unlocked anything else though, but spelt it wrong. The fjord. <laughs> well, no, that's something different, Rabid. Uh, that is a Norwegian word, and it's referring to the place where the mountains come down and meet. Um the water and there is a place where the water goes in and back out or like the, the land goes in and out almost like a bay that's a technically what a fjord is but <laughs> when you, when you're talking about river fording it is just just f-o-r-d <laughs> there's no j in it but yeah because although did they spell it fjord is that why they did it they spelled it for for jord Oh, to get the oh, because the bed. The, yeah, I always wonder why they didn't give you the bed for the Lodestar, but it, it would be nice to have that. So, okay, it's spelled Fjord. Okay, weird. Yeah, that's not well. But isn't the mission like a really long mission where you have to go all over the place? So maybe that's what it is. Is that they were actually talking about a real Fjord? Because that the Carpathians have fjords. That's hilarious, Star Specter. Okay, so that that uh, you're 85 hours in. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got to figure out a way. We got to get way over there, man. Uh, okay, so we're here, and I'm up on a ridge. There is a crossing here. That's close to our home base. Okay, it looks like we could, if we come down here and go out, it looks like we could get up this way and come around. So let's try that and see it. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Fjord. Fjord. Bjork. And Bjornholm. Mm, that's definitely not the way down. Maybe this way. Oh, I don't know. This all looks bad. 
What's up, Zorlod? Good to see you. Hope you're feeling XXL today. Yep, so we had a real good win today as far as getting a lot done around the house, getting it closer to getting ready for sale. And sadly, the property that we wanted to buy has gone up for sale. So, or has gone, has sold. Maybe it's impending. That doesn't mean it's sold for sure, but it probably means it's going to sell. That's hilarious. It has to, to make to make it fit the uh, template. You got to make the name longer. Dang. Um, no, that's not the way either. Er. Okay, give me a minute to figure this out. Let's see. Devices. <laughs> I'll have to try that game again. When I was doing it, it was, it was really... I mean, it had just come out. So... So you'd have to go down with the anchor. I don't want to use my anchor up, though. Uh... But I guess you're probably right. So I got up here because I came across. We just came up the wrong way. Oh, there's a tree over here. Okay, so I could... Oh, I could just go back down the way I came. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> okay, Ernie. <laughs> I've done that. I don't know if you saw the last episode, but we had a... The first episode I put up on YouTube, we did have a bit of a rollover. It did not turn out well. Meow, 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 meow. This game could use... I, I don't know. Does this game have music? I had to turn it off. I'm afraid of the copyright infringement. Hi, wife. You doing okay, babe? I told people about the house going pending. It's got good music. Oh, dang. <laughs> Not our house, Zorlod. The house that we were wanting to buy. Oh, well. The Warden. Um, yeah, this is still ugly all the way down here, man. There is not a pretty path. I suppose this is probably... Yeah, we can't get down that. But over here, I'm going to have to back up and come back. Are you guys able to hear it okay? It's kind of quiet. Let me... I noticed on my video last time... Oh! Sorry, guys. Well, oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Uh, all right, turn this down. Oh, no. You see that? How it popped off. And I didn't mean talk back. That's pop off is also English, an English phrase for talking back. Hey, don't pop off. Hey. Yeah, I was afraid of that. My headlight bar is getting stuck on the branches. Come on. Go! Oh. <laughs> well, shoot. We're going to have to... No, no, no. <laughs> the good news is... Nope. That we have a drone. That's the good... Nope. Oh, God. These stupid new controls. Okay. Well, you asked for it, and you got it. <laughs> Let's see. Pull. Thank God for the winch. All right, stop there. And uh, more winch, please. Um, yeah. Ew, 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 ew. Ta-da! Just a little bit of mud, that's all. 
Just a little mud. And we can take our tires and flate them up a little bit. We're gonna flate them. Earn flight them. Look at that. Right out of a pickle and back into the chicken sandwich. I know, the I just want my snow, not even that, I just want my snow runner scheme back. Please, why did we have to change all the controls? That's my own, this is, it's my huge pet peeve. I will someday let it go. At least the controls are marked clearly on the screen, but half the time I have to stop, take a, take a deep breath and try again because my hands just want to do snow runner movements, so. There are a few, yeah. Uh, so the the one that I liked that they had, I'm glad they had uh, Rabbit Sasquatch, was to be able to switch left and right button because that was really killing me. Yep, right. I, every time I press D-pad, it goes into the in cab. I hate that. I want that to be this me this menu. I want to come up when I press up, not left. That's all I want is just to change that. If I could change that one thing, I think I would be happy. I'd be closer anyway. And if I could put the diff lock and all wheel drive together like they are in snow, we are instead of being across the pad from each other. Come on, go. All right. I'm going to blow the tires here. Hang on. See how quickly we make progress once we get through that situation? Unfortunately, we're sucking gas like there's no tomorrow because I'm keeping it in. Oh, there's a hole. Wow. <laughs> this is why we do things during the day and not at night. Uh, we'll go for a little. The nice thing about this game is it really is pretty bright. At least here at night, it's bright. But I know in the Carpathian map, I think it gets a little bit darker, but still, it's not bad. Okay, and then we're going to... Uh, let's take a look real quick here. Engine off and devices up. So I found out today, <laughs> for those of you that... I think I got a lot of different people in here tonight, so I don't think I have the same crew that I normally do. We got Some of you guys are here, but like Cameo... I don't think Cameo's here. Guys that have been kind of following the story. My car... I did thrash the motor. It's going to need a new motor. Now, I think I'm still going to get it fixed because it's it's be it's about five to six thousand dollars to get it fixed for a, a similar motor with similar miles, um, and that includes the install and everything. And I was like, well, I but I just I miss my car so much. I mean, I'm using this. A friend of ours gave. Uh, or a friend of my ex-wife's gave her a junker. It's not horrible. It's it's actually an okay car, but it's got a lot wrong with it. It's a Hyundai Sonata, which is really comfortable to drive, but it has um, like the the back brake pads are worn are completely worn out, and they don't want to they didn't want to change them because the, it has to have all the suspension redone because it's got over two hundred thousand miles on it and. So it needs like all this stuff done to it. And so it's just like I'm driving and the car's like, and then it burns oil. Cause it's, well, it's got the Hyundai, you know, the same motor I have in my car, but as they get older, they start to burn oil. And this one does real bad. So it's burning oil. Like it's actually just like leaking oil and they should have had it redone, but they never did. 
so I'm just driving this car and it's just like falling apart. It has no computer, it has a terrible stereo. I miss my car so much. My car is so nice and I miss it. And I hope that I can get it back. But we'll see. It was such a fun car to drive and such a nice car and all the nice features and stuff and now it's I wrecked it all right so we made it we've made it to the second thing oh that was it okay yay oh man all right well let's take a look and see where the next mission is I don't know we get we don't have a lot of fuel left I've got the but I've got my fuel thingies with me Ugh. Let's see here. Hey, Slayer. Um, so let's go ahead and, oh, airdrops. Airdrop, airdrop. Okay. Acton. Tasks. Kneeling. Kneeling at the altar of pain. Uh, we'll go to the altar and say a prayer. I'm going to um, park this truck and we'll grab the other truck since that's closer. See if we can't do that. I mean, we're still we're still in the getting the house ready to sell phase, so we're not moving yet. Oh, I got to get that stuff back to base, don't I? How do I turn them up? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Okay, motor off. There we go. All right, that sounds good. I don't mind being on the phone, Gator. Um. Okay, how am I gonna? Oh, sorry, I keep doing the. Oh. I'm so terrible at this menu system. Okay, um, and there we go. And we're gonna trade with the shop. We're gonna put some stuff into this truck. Make sure we have the full this and full this as much as we can take. Dual monitors, that's what I do when I play and watch stuff. I put it on the other monitor. It's exactly what I do, Gator. Okay, let's go to daytime too. I don't wanna skip time today. Oh, wow, it went right to afternoon. We must have been middle of the night, huh? Okay, she's ready to roll. The Tuz is so good. So it's going good, though. We had a good day today, Slayer. I went, uh, we cleaned, I cleaned the, all the deck off. Seth and I are working in the backyard. We got a bunch of garbage picked up. I, I got all the mud off the, the back. Because the dogs like to jump up on the hot tub and they get mud all over everything. So I cleaned all the mud off the the deck and I totally like scrubbed it down and got the mud out from between the planks and stuff and then I I uh, cleaned it was cleaned and scrubbed the hot tub put fresh water in it so it's all ready to, to to party for the people that come to look at the house they can see it's a real nice hot tub because like I paid a lot of money for that stupid hot tub and so they better enjoy it um, but I hope it it's not I know it doesn't add value to the house But I'm hoping if I have it open people go out and see how nice it is. They'll be like, oh, ooh, it has this, you know Dual horizontal or one no I got dual horizontal I'd like I actually have an Older Dell monitor that does portrait mode. I'm but it's smaller than the the other monitor that I have So I don't know. I like portrait mode though. It would be really good for chat gator um, but but I have them in side by side. Anyway, um, so I got the hot tub all cleaned and I got the deck all cleaned and then I started, I got most of the patio clean, but it's gonna need another sweeping. Um, and we have a bit more to pick up, but it was just, it does not. Unfortunately, pools and hot tubs do not add to the value of a house necessarily. However, if it is functioning and it's nice, it can definitely, you know, certain buyers will want that and be like, ooh, it may, it may help them decide to buy my house versus someone else's house. Doesn't mean I'll get, you know, more money for it, but at least they'll be more interested in the property because it's like, oh, it's got that. I mean, it's like a $15,000 hot tub. It, I, when I bought it years ago, it was like the best you could get. So it's a super nice hot tub. And I, I've taken really good care of it over the last couple of years. I really keep it like nice. So, so celebrity 
That is that why it's trashed? <laughs> My poor house is so beat down. But we're cleaning it up. We're repainting everything. We're shining the floors. We're gonna fix. We're fixing a lot of stuff that's broken. So it'll be it'll be uh, hopefully something that people are interested in, and we can get as much money as possible out of it. So the hot tub, yeah, it's it's like a twelve person hot tub, eight eight person or something. It's supposed to be. It's the largest one you can buy without getting into um they have these um that's, yeah i am a celebrity um they have hot tubs that are um like swimming pools that you know they're like it's like a they're like i know they're all they're really awesome and you can swim in them they they actually have a current that you can set and it you then you can swim like while you're in it but i don't think i could swim in a hot tub because it's hot and so how do you swim in there you wouldn't be able to breathe you know, I want cooler. Well, if I'm going to be doing swimming, I want the water to be cooler. But I guess you could set the temperature lower, but then you couldn't really relax in there. But they do have almost, I, I want to say they're maybe like 25 feet long and eight feet across. Like they're big. They're big. But they're also like $60,000. <laughs> they're super expensive. And you got to heat all that water. So that's expensive too, but they're nice. But ours is the largest like square hot tub that you can get they had a couple more that were more expensive but mine was like everybody's favorite so right that right that me too that's what i go out there for because you know if i get sore or whatever i can go out there and soak and it, it really helps especially after a wedding so i'm hoping to put one on the new property i'll probably get a smaller one next time but it's going to be a while I, can't, I won't be able to afford it probably right away but i will definitely be saving up for a hot tub because it's worth it yeah, I would say having a pool is nice, but the hot tub got used a lot more because the pool is really only usable during the warm season, but the hot tub you can use all year round. And honestly, it's about 60 bucks a month in electricity and about 70 or 80 bucks a month in chemicals. So it's about $120 a month to use it. And if you use it every night, you know, it's a couple bucks a day. So pools can be a lot of maintenance yeah well that's where i'm going right now my pool it's yeah oh they don't let you use it in the winter that sucks oh because it's so nice that's my favorite thing it's snowing like to go out there and sit like in a in the snow or the winter because you know when it's really cold out that's when it's best to view the stars so i go out there and and sit there and and you know I don't even turn the lights on. I just turn the I turn like the fountains on. I just sit in there and soak in the in the hot water and watch the stars. Then I get to see shooting stars and stuff back there. I'm going to miss it so much. God, I'm going to miss that. It was nice for a season. It's just stuff. It comes and goes. Sometimes we have money, sometimes we don't, and that's just how life goes, isn't it? Yeah, outdoor heated pool. Oh, that would be so nice. <laughs> yeah, having a, a pool like all winter, that would be great. It would cost a fortune to heat all that water. You know, the hot tubs are pretty efficient. I think my hot tub runs, to keep it at 110, or I'm sorry, 103 degrees or 102 degrees during the winter, it has to turn on once every, like, every two or three hours. It turns on for about 15 minutes and circulates the water. But it's, you know, it's so well insulated that it, it stays warm. Oh, look, there's a big skull. Oh, what is that? That looks like a very frightening giant goat. Oh, a closer look. Hang on, I gotta concentrate here. Yeah, the build. Hmm, there's shady in... I don't know if that's Indians. Is that Indians with the candles? Maybe. They've obviously sacrificed a goat, a giant goat. Oh, we're going to go further. I can only imagine what their bill is like. Okay, we got to go back down that big hill. Okay. Uh, that's down that way. All right. No, <laughs> I'm too old for that. <laughs> that has no appeal. My friend Mikey used to we we his dad had a hot tub in the garage of all places. 
Um, so you go out in the garage and sit in the hot tub, um, and we'd open the door in the winter, and he'd run out, jump in the snow, and then come back in the hot tub. And then he'd, we'd get mad because he'd freeze. The water would get colder every time he did it. We're like, stop it. <laughs> but, no, I, I prefer just to be warm. Going outside in my shorts or in the buff, depending on how late it is, um, <laughs> in the way the cold weather is enough for me. Oh, dude. So I hadn't been in for a couple of weeks and I put some chlorine in. But, you know, what happens is if you don't go in it a lot, like milk, like like uh, there can there's like a buildup of slippery stuff because <laughs> it just does. And so if you stay in it and stay active with it, it won't get slippery inside. But <laughs> I was getting in the tub and I stepped out on the step and it was slippery. <laughs> This was a couple months ago, and dude, I did, I mean, like, like, I mean, I was doing, like, some gymnastic, like, Olympic-style splits. <laughs> it hurt so bad. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I didn't break something, man. Like, it was like, oh, snap. <laughs> I went all the way. Yeah, years ago, there you go. That's when I would have done it, maybe, if I was adventurous. Honestly, this is probably the best scout in the game, this truck. <gasps> Except for you can't flip back over when you flip. I almost flipped there. <clears throat> the current major order in Hell Drive, it's a trap, what do you mean? I haven't played Hell Drivers in a while. I might, maybe tonight after I'm done streaming, I wanna, I'd like to play, but I, I don't think I'm gonna have time. Actually, I'm gonna be on until probably around midnight, so I won't have time. No, don't tell me. I will try to do it. Okay, so you can, oh, that's cool that you can get all Thomas Winch for it, though. I also know that there's a guy that makes water damage non-existent. If you guys, there's a hydrologist I we played around with a little bit. Um, okay, so what what do you think? I think I'm gonna have to go to the right and then go up. I was thinking of going over here, but I don't think there's really any way across here. It doesn't look deep enough. Oh, it's kind of squishy here. What does the drone lady do? Does she extend your range? completion of liberation okay oh that's cool so 300 yards because right now it only goes 100 right so it gives you triple the distance how much does she cost to run i know the hydrologist is like 600 so is it me or does do you guys also run in low and low gear most of the time i i find myself just driving in low almost all the time i rarely put it in automatic Yeah, we should be okay. There we go. <laughs> Do the cro the river crossing in the cab. And the super loaf. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I haven't gotten that far in yet. Oh, there's a thing way up there. Okay, we got to get up there somehow. Uh. Tatra's good in auto, too? Okay. Okay. 
You've discovered a new fjord. Just kidding. A new climb. I would love to have an RC one of these. I've got uh, the um, 4320, which I believe is a is a Maz. It, and it was running pretty well until the ESC fried. I had a, a capacitor blow on it. Now it's a smaller truck. It's like a one one sixteenth scale, I think, but it it blew a capacitor. And I was so sad. Yeah, I did. I love those. Those are, those are, um, I think those are the Tamaya ones, Gator. But anyway, yeah, I was sad because <laughs> the truck blew its ESC. And I'll probably, i probably try one more time and see. I'm, I'm going to try to rep just replace the capacitors on it. <laughs> hey, what's up, Frost? Yeah, it'll be a couple days, probably. I still got to release episode two is coming out here shortly, so probably tonight. Actually, I might do a Snowrunner tonight though instead. I haven't, I haven't released anything in a day or two. I'm trying to slow down my releases so that when I move, because it's probably I don't know where we're going or what we're gonna do, but it might be a couple weeks of me not being able to make videos. So I'm gonna have to see how we're gonna figure all that out, but. Hmm. Wait, this is where we were supposed to go? Visit the flight recorder. So what is this? This is a flight recorder. Okay. Recording device placed in an aircraft for the purpose of facilitating an investigation of an aviation accident or incident. Oh, weird. Okay. There's no fuel or anything else here, but we still got plenty. Stay. Oh, God. <laughs> we have to go over there. It says trade altar. Uh, so let me see here. We are here. Tuz act down. So we're going to have to go back down our climbs. And that should take us right back to the base. So we're actually that way down. Okay. Ooh, I like that the atmosphere is getting cool. This is something I don't I don't think I've seen in SnowRunner. This kind of atmosphere. The sunsets look better here, and the lighting isn't as rough. Like sometimes I get frustrated with SnowRunner because like it starts getting dark at like three o'clock in the afternoon, and you can't see anything. This game seems to handle the lighting a little bit better. It does kind of look like Mars, though. You are right. Yeah, you've got some. Uh, what is it? Uh, what kind of atmosphere does Mars have? It's uh, what is the gas? It's like ammonia. Is that what they have in their atmosphere? <laughs> it's like a mixture of ammonia and some other things. We're coming down. Yeah, we're coming down the right way. I never knew this. I was I was going to the bathroom and reading on my phone. <laughs> And on Facebook, and an article came up about uh, Russian exploration onto Venus. Did not know the Russians had sent probes to Venus in the 70s. I grew up in the 70s. You think it would know, but maybe because America was kind of like not wanting to be behind the Russians, they didn't talk about it here much. But but uh, Russia actually sent. Um, Oh, carbon. Oh, it's carbon dioxide. Okay. Uh, sent several probes to Venus and we found out that it's basically hell. I didn't know. And I didn't know this. I knew it was hot, but they found out that at the surface. Okay. First of all, the first two probes got crushed on their way down because the atmosphere is so thick and heavy that the pressure just crushed the, the, um, the probes then. So they finally made them stronger and they had two probes that made it to the surface. Once it got there, it was over 500 degrees on the surface of Venus. And the, the drones would only last like, or the, the, the probes only lasted a couple hours. They did get a couple photos and send them back, but they only lasted a couple hours because they basically just cooked and melted. It was that hot. I just thought that was crazy. Ooh, that's cool. The, 
the original Zing. But I just I never knew that I didn't, and I and I actually was looking at the pictures and stuff, and it. So there's pictures of the Martian atmosphere, and uh, it is. Uh, it's basically hell. You can't. It's so hot that you can't, and so much pressure that you just, you would get squashed flat. And that's right, Frost, because men are from Mars and women are from Venus. Yeah. I, did you see that gator? I was like, wow. I I just never knew that stuff. Like I love stuff like that. I grew up kind of being into space and and reading Odyssey magazine and. I still had clippings. I have clippings. I uh, might not have them anymore, but at least at my, in my bedroom at my mom's house, I had in the drawers, I had clippings of the first space shuttle being transported across the country on truck, on truck beds. And they'd have to shut things down in towns because it was so big. It, they'd have to like take, like move telephone poles and stuff so it could fit through. Um, but I have, I have like the journey of the, uh, I think it was the Columbia was the first one and the, the of its journey across the united states as it went to the launch pad and got completely like fin like final like the not finalized but the 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 ship was reassembled there and then ready for launch cool stuff really cool stuff you know and then later on they they would uh you know they they would transport it via 747 but that was before <laughs> like in the first couple of years they didn't do that so <laughs> Yeah, I no, I, it was. Uh, gosh, I don't remember what kind of truck it was. I was too little. I was, I was probably twelve years old. I didn't know, but it, you know, obviously it was a huge trail, one of those huge trailers. But uh, the Scout has been refueled. <laughs> Gator's giving us a play-by-play. -play. All right, so we got a trade here. Oh, that is solid. That is solid as a rock. Wow. <laughs> Ow. All right. Completed altar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. Okay, ladies and gentlemen on YouTube, if you're watching on Twitch, stay hang tight. But ladies and gentlemen on YouTube, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode as we finish the last two missions on Little Colorado and uh, got everything done according to our plan. So have a good night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up, always help. And we will see you in the Carpathians next time on Expeditions. Bye.